Hey Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I'm continuing the challenge. Today is day 13 and the theme is polka dots. So I'm starting off with a very neutral base today. Um, this probably would look better if you did it over like your own natural nail colour. So literally just put like, I don't, like a, you know, a clear base coat over the top and have that as your base colour. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm trying to keep it as neutral as possible and these are the gel polishes that I've used to create this base, which may be something that you like anyway. <laughs> so I've got my gel polishes here and I've got various different sized um, dotting tools. So basically what I'm going to do is just randomly add these dots to my nail. Um, obviously because it's gel you want to try and not get them too close together because then they'll just sort of blend into one sort of big massive weird shape dot. <laughs> so I'm not really, I haven't really got anything in mind or you know a specific way I want the colours to, to go on. It's very random and obviously it's very easy as you're just adding dots of polish to the nail. So I'm kind of trying to add as many as possible on the sort of first layer. And then you want to, um, I'm sorry, this is like acting weird. It's kind of like going dark when it shouldn't be. So then I've added sort of my first base of colors and then I've cured that and then I'm going in. By the way, these ring palettes that I'm using, this one was sent to me from Nail Artisan and the pore shaped one was from Born Pretty, just in case you're wondering where you can get your hands on them because they are very, very handy nail art tools for something like this. So you don't have to have lots of bottles out everywhere. Or risk ruining your nail desk. <laughs> okay, so you just I'm just sort of adding them. I've actually realised, oh that black is doing my head in, I don't know what's causing that. I'm actually making my nails just look like, uh, this might not, might, everybody might not know what I'm on about, but do you know like the ice creams that are called Nobbly Bobbly? <laughs> this is why it's making me think of, it's making me hungry actually, I'm going to want some. So I'm kind of like mixing and matching the colours, I'm showing you uh, to come a bit further out just because I wanted to have all colours there at my disposal to just sort of finish off with some smaller dots. But yeah, totally getting knobbly bobbly themes with this design. And as you can see, it's so, so easy to do. And obviously because it's gels as well, it's great because it just dries instantly as soon as you put it underneath the lamp. Okay, so once you're all happy with your dots, you want to go ahead and apply your top coat. I wasn't sure which finish to do with this design. So here's matte and glossy together. What do you guys think? I know not everybody's a fan of matte, but I think for this one, matte just seemed better for me. But obviously if you prefer glossy, then have it glossy. <laughs> it's not a big thing. Um, so this is the end look. So I really hope that you like this design that I've chose for polka dots. Um, I'm really enjoying watching everybody else's designs as well, so thank you to all those that have taken part. It really does make this challenge extra special. So thanks for watching out this tutorial today, and uh, make sure you come back tomorrow.